Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Simply Jan's Homestead. Check this out. Our first pepper harvest. Everything's starting to come on. And pretty soon, I'll be able to pickle those and uh, make some jalapeno and garlic and our cucumbers. I'm going to take you on a little walk and give you a little update. Our cucumbers were attacked by cucumber, I guess beetles. Our zucchini and squash were annihilated by squash bugs. And so, you know, that's how gardening goes, isn't it? Uh, we put some a product down to get rid of them and it seems to be working. Uh, it's not organic. It killed me to do it, but we had hundreds of thousands of bugs. I want to show you the rabbits. There's Buck, our proud daddy. <laughs> there's a baby. And there's a baby. Whoop. And there's Mama. And then here's Charlotte. And her five little babies. She's such a good mama. Oh, she wants to get in the camera. <laughs> They're all happy and healthy. We have their water bottle here. I'm trying to keep Charlotte from attacking it. So they'll stay cold. Because it is hot here, y'all. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, we had a wonderful 4th of July. I hope y'all did. My grandson and his wife and our two uh, great grandbabies came. And we just had the best visit. That was a wonderful time together. And we spent... Uh, the 4th of July, setting off fireworks on the farm, and it was good times. We never buy fireworks, but this year we did. <laughs> we splurged, and we did. So I want to show you my garden. This area, that uh, cucumber got annihilated. But I looked and I currently do not see any cucumber beetles. Um, these are our pepper plants. And they are just putting on tons of peppers. I went ahead and picked that big pepper off this little plant. So it will produce some more. This one has four or five, five peppers on it. And then the mysterious tomato plant that grew. We still don't know how it got there. <laughs> and check this out. Look at all those tomatoes grown so beautiful. And our cucumbers here. And look at this, y'all. I am so excited. I've never grown these. And they are called Royal Burgundy Beans. And I tasted one yesterday. They're just starting to come on. Look how beautiful that bean is. Isn't that pretty? I have a bigger one in here, but I'll have to start. Here it is. Look how big it is. So those are starting to come along. It's been so long since I had beans grow so well. And uh, I'm quite excited about it. These are <clears throat> peas and beans mixed in. I don't see anything growing yet. 
but that's the the wonderful thing about gardening and <laughs> when you get your your vegetables <clears throat> and then boom they're there check out these zinnias y'all aren't they gorgeous I was telling my friends this one has to be my all-time favorite it's a salmon color isn't it gorgeous and mixed in here is our hak choy and it's some of it's going to seed I give the chickens a lot of that and then this is my okra let's see if I actually marked it hill country red okra I did I did well I wasn't reckless but that is intertwined in here. So we have that growing here and here. And I have to be honest with you, I thought they were all dead, but they weren't. And we have, I picked my first kohlrabi. I have more coming in. And when this is done, We'll clean it out. I'm going to have to process my dill. It's about, well, three, four feet tall now. And you should, I guess when the moon's full, process it. But, um, yeah, these are all my bachelor buttons. And there's your little dog. I planted a bunch of okra here. Oh, I see one coming up. Right here along the well house too. Oh, good. And, um, yeah, that's good news. I didn't see those. Our apple trees and peach trees are doing well. And I am winning the war on the Japanese beetles. Y'all, Japanese beetles. Oh. What a pain. I'm still picking up fireworks. <laughs> so I'm going to take you over to our raised bed and uh, show you something. <sighs> That's a lot of land to walk. I sure do get my exercise, but I need it. Okay, <clears throat> let me turn you around. So this tomato plant was marked as the San Marzano. Clearly, it's not a San Marzano. And so what I figured is it's a German queen. And the tags got mixed up. This had the German queen tag on it. And I'm positive that's my San Marzano. So these are growing big. We're going to have to build a trellis system in here. These are my Romas. And I am super, super excited about those. I have had the hardest time growing Romas. And mostly they'd get root rot. These are Husky Cherry Reds and some more German Queens and then our Grape Tommies and they're just starting to uh, come up. Now this bed, we have two beds y'all, this bed suffered so bad so we amended the soil, fertilized it. And here you go. All right, so I don't want this video going on forever, but I did want to give you a peek at the girls, Henrietta and Gus, because they're calling and they want to say hello. Say hello, girls. There's Mr. Gus. <laughs> Everyone's getting along now. Everyone's doing fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed the quick update. Y'all be blessed and love well. Bye now.